Hey guys, I'm Marty, and this is Cockadoodle Farm. So we've been on our farm here, or homestead, for a little over a year. And there's one question that I'm asking more than anything else. Isn't it a ton of work? Is a lot of work. Yes. Why? Because you have to feed the animals every day. Is that how much you've been giving them? Huh? Is that how much you've been giving them? Yeah. That's way too much. Huh? They need like half of that. That's why our food's been going so fast. Gotta get the kids off to school. I have a question. Do you think living on the farm is a lot of work? What's the hardest part about living on a farm? Feeding the animals. No. What doing, do you think? You doing work. That's really hard. Me doing all the work? Yeah. yeah. So living on the farm is no, pretty... No, 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 no. When you work on the computer. Oh, that's the hard work? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. But not. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh, gosh. What are you oh, drinking? Yeah. Looks gross. It is. It's my witch's brew. <laughs> so, yeah, the farm chores are the obvious hard work thing. But I thought I'd reach out to some other homesteading friends and see what their thoughts were. What do they think the hardest part of homesteading is? Hi, Marty. Andrea here from the Homemaking Maven. Yes, homesteading is a lot of work. Uh, to answer that question, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of planning, but we absolutely love it. And when you choose to do a job and when you're doing something you're passionate about and that you love, it doesn't feel like work. So yes, at the end of the day, the number of hours that you're putting into your homestead, it's a lot. It's a lot of time it's a lot of commitment but it's so much enjoyment in the end and that's why we do it right <laughs> hi there friends I'm Sean the modern yeoman and recently I was asked to prepare a quick 30 second presentation based on the following question is stone bedding hard one thing I do like to stress to folks that are new to sleeping on rocks is that, well, rocks aren't exactly soft. Now, the very first thing we should get established is your pillow situation. Now, I myself am partial to granite, but what's that? It's homesteading? No, I thought it was stone bedding. Homesteading. Well, I only have like 10 seconds left. Hi friends, I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman and I'm gonna try this again, but quickly. Is homesteading hard? The short answer to that question is yes, homesteading is hard. The short, more nuanced answer to that question is yes, homesteading is hard, but some of the most worthwhile things in life are hard. Homesteading for me is one of the most worthwhile things in my life and I wouldn't trade it for anything. If you're new to the homesteading world, a quick piece of advice. You do not need to go fast. You can take your time at this. If you're starting to homestead, don't feel like you need chickens, goats, pigs, a gigantic garden right off the bat. You can work your way into it. Homesteading is not a race. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day. Hi, I'm Jay. I'm Cheryl. And we're from Celtic Roots Farm. The hardest thing about homesteading for us is having our farm or our homestead be financially sustainable. There's various ways to make money on a homestead. For instance, we sell produce at farmer's markets, but just like many of you, we have to have a second job and the balance between the responsibility and the time that you have to put on that other job and your homestead can be difficult. Our hope is that the things that we're implementing now will sustain us in the future. It's encouraging to see so many people getting into homesteading, and if you're questioning if you can do it or not, you'll never know unless you start. Good afternoon, my name is Sang from Growing Little Country Homestead. So is homesteading hard? Uh, yes and no. 
it was hard at the beginning when I didn't know anything about homesteading or I made it harder because I rushed into homesteading bought a bunch of animals all at once and I had no, I had no idea how to take care of any of the animals I had nothing ready I had no goat pan no run for the chickens I had nothing <laughs> And that made it very hard but uh, it got easier as time went on and I knew exactly how to take care of animals homesteading is as hard as you make it so uh, take it easy take it slow uh, one project at a time and one animal at a time all right I'm approaching two minutes and it was only supposed to be 20 seconds all right I'll see you later hi everybody this is Nate from the Kramer life and Katie also from the Kramer Life. We've been on a journey of trying to find our homestead and staying at other people's homesteads and helping them out. So our perspective will be from there. So Katie, what do you think is the hardest part about homesteading? The hardest part about homesteading has been finding the property. It's the low inventory of housing, the prices starting to spike up, and it's just been really difficult. I think by the time we realized what we were really looking for, uh, things had started to either not become available or kind of come out of our price range. So I think just that really knowing exactly what we wanted and finding it has been the hardest part for, for me in my perspective. Mm -hmm. So we are new to the homesteading world and we don't know a lot. There's a lot for us to still learn. When we're out helping people or doing stuff for ourselves, because we don't have that knowledge, it's been really hard to prioritize and to do things efficiently to where you're just not spending more time than you really need to. Those are our perspectives of yeah. the hard parts of homesteading. And so far. Yeah, so far. Yeah. <laughs> Ask us in a year. <laughs> I'm Jenny from the O'Driscoll Family Homestead Experiment. I'm up here in uh, Nova Scotia with my goats. And time. The hardest part of homesteading is definitely time. I think it's that in a lot of ways, um, you set out to do a lot of different projects. Uh, homesteading, that the joy comes from like the things that you grow and build, but everything that you grow and build takes time and it takes usually three or four times the amount of time that you estimate that it's gonna take. But also there's not enough time to do all the things that you wanna do. And you're kind of reliant on the seasons and the time of day and, you know, if you have animals, you need to feed them at certain times and you have to be home. And if you're planting seeds, you're, you're waiting for them to grow. So it's, it's sometimes time is like it's moving too fast, but it's also moving really slowly. And I guess that's what I'm thinking about now as we're waiting for, for winter to come upon us is that the hardest part is, is time. You can't control it. Hey, this is Billy from Perma Pastures Farm. You know what? I think the hardest part of homesteading without a doubt is the organization. Uh, for us, I mean, there's not one task I do that I find distasteful that I dislike. I mean, no matter how nasty it might be, <laughs> I really what I I would rather not go to a nine to five like most of us have to do. Really, the number one thing for us is organization. Like right here, you see behind me, I got a hugel culture mound, I got a pond that needs to be done, I got a doggy that wants to be played with, and I got um, cardboard here that wants to be made into an instant garden, and that's just in this spot. Up the hill, there are things, these trellises need to come out. All this stuff needs to be looked after before winter gets on. There's so many things, but it's trying to figure out how to prioritize those things. To me, that's the real key. I go to sleep and I wake up thinking about this. This is all I want to do with my life right now. And um, without a doubt, organization can be your best friend or your worst enemy. And without a doubt, that is the biggest thing I struggle with. So to me, that is the hardest part of homesteading. Happy homesteading, y'all, and best of luck. Hey, everybody. Aaron here from Countryside Acres Homestead. I have to say uh, time. Time would be the biggest thing for us. Uh, when you're starting out, it just feels like there's so much that needs to be done, and it feels like everything needs to be done right now. So prioritizing things in the right order and finding the time for everything to uh, you know, do it in a timely manner that you don't burn out and still have time for family and for things that matter. Uh, in, in that regard as well as getting the projects done, I think is probably the hardest part of, uh, of starting a homestead. So uh, if you're thinking of doing that, best of luck. And uh, yeah, just uh, just try to prioritize what's most important and get that done first. What's up guys? Mike here from the Laid Back Living YouTube channel. We're talking about the hardest part of homesteading for us. And in my opinion, that is staying focused on one project. You have a lot of projects overhead sometimes and it can be overwhelming but you just gotta stay focused, pick a project, and do it. 
Don't get overwhelmed, just focus on the task at hand. The other one that we'd like to focus on is not to procrastinate. It's super easy to put off those little projects for that stupid little rainy day, but if you have time, just get it done. Thanks guys. Hey guys, wow, that was awesome. Thanks everybody who sent in those videos and a special thanks to Nate at The Kramer Life. He helped to make a few of these introductions. So thanks Nate for helping my first collaboration attempt not look like a total failure. So in a nutshell, homesteading is hard. The keys are prioritizing the things that are important and not rushing into things, which Kate and I have been really bad at. But even though the work is hard, it's incredibly rewarding, which has been our experience as well. You know, before moving to the farm, we lived in a typical suburban neighborhood home, and it was possible, although it didn't happen very often, but it was possible to get to the point where you can look around and be like, the house is cleaned, the laundry's done, the lawn is mowed. Like I said, it didn't happen very often, but it was possible to get there. On the farm, we have not been able to get to that point yet, and I don't think that we ever will. There is just always something to do. So it's nearly impossible just to kick your feet up and be like, yeah, you know what, we're good. You have to be very deliberate about stopping. And I think that, for Mary-Kate and I, is the hardest part of living on the homestead, is just the fact that there is always something to do. You can never get to the point where you're just like, I'm done. Yesterday, there was some